Hi, Killer Clan. Welcome to the video. Got something different for you today. Actually, let me pose a question. How much chocolate can one human sustain? How much chocolate do you think a human can go through before it just shuts down? I don't know. Let's find out. A gallon of chocolate milk, a four pound triple chocolate cake, and chocolate chocolate donuts. A dozen of them. Actually, 16 of them. Let's find out. So in front of me, I got a gallon of chocolate milk that I had to make because the store didn't have any chocolate milk. So Nesquik, gallon of milk, give her a shake, voila, chocolate milk. 16 Edamint donuts and this big chocolate cake. Now what's significant about this chocolate cake, you may ask? I had a friend when I was a kid growing up and his mom used to make chocolate cakes. These exact chocolate cakes to be exact. And shout out to Judy Strakovich for making this chocolate cake. Now I haven't had one of these in about 25 years, but I can remember them being delicious. So I had her make me a triple stacker. We're gonna go ahead and see if a human being can eat all this chocolate in one sitting without going in to a chocolate coma. Is it possible? I don't know, but shout out to Vincent and his mom for setting this up so that I could eat this gigantic chocolate cake and relive my childhood dream. All right, so without further ado, the triple chocolate challenge. Massive cake, 16 donuts, gallon of homemade chocolate milk. Shout out to Nesquik. Sponsor me if you'd like to. I won't even fight you. Three, two, one, chocolate time. Oh, get these out into some cups, make it a little bit more easy to manage. I'm gonna get into this cake, first and foremost. First and foremost. Ah, oh, delectable. Look at that thing. Mmm. Just as I remember it. <clears throat> Man, that thing's rich. Very it's very chocolatey. Look at that. Ah, it's like this is like being ten all over again. How much chocolate can a human being eat? <clears throat> About half a cake right now. <laughs> hey, that thing. Man, that thing's good. <clears throat> Yeah, probably moist. Moister than an oyster. <laughs> I don't know if the word moist bothers you.
Who would have known I'd have to wait 25 years to get my way? Hmm. So the entire cake in about six and a half minutes. <clears throat> it's delicious. <coughs> I don't think I need a fork for the uh, donuts, but if you ever had these Edmund donuts, they're not the easiest thing to eat. Yep, the outsides are very waxy. They almost don't taste like chocolate. Now, is that because it's not chocolate, or is that because you just ate something that's more chocolate? Mmm. It just tastes like chocolate. Mmm. I don't know what it is. Right. Probably. I don't think I would want to sit down and try to eat a hundred of these. <laughs> Dude, these are like... Massively dry. Now, in Edmund's defense, I did get these to the dollar store. They might have been expired. <laughs> Just because I think they're magic. <laughs> I have a lot of sugar in my bag right now. Mm-hmm. You see, it's kind of killed the whole pace of my challenge. That's a nice quick build up. Ugh. Last of the triple chocolate craziness challenge. Ugh. Ugh. 
Ugh. Ugh. That's ice cold. Ugh, my brain hurts. Ugh. Yeah. Seventeen forty-five. Ugh, man, there it is. A little over seventeen minutes to uh, four-pound chocolate cake, sixteen donuts, and a gallon of chocolate milk. Ugh, triple chocolate coma right now. If you like this Ugh. video, make sure you hit that like button. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Killer Kennedy. Shout out to Judy Serkovich for making me that delicious cake. Reminds me of being a kid all over again. And Vinnie Mac for suggesting that his mom make the cake and for me to eat it. Until next time, eat lots of chocolate, be a crazy kid, and take it easy.